Good morning, FHS. I'm Ryan. And I'm Crystal. Here are your morning announcements for Wednesday, June 1st. Today is an awareness day at FHS. Our school is participating in DAW. What is DAW? DAW stands for Disability Awareness Week. This week is held each year to promote community access for people with disabilities, as well as employment inclusion. FHS will be providing ballots through your homeroom today for students to complete. There will be ballots joined throughout the day and prizes will be awarded. We encourage everyone to participate in an effort to raise awareness for disabilities, both physical and mental. UMB is holding a pre-calculus math workshop for students entering first-year university math courses at UMB. Information are available in guidance. Grads Without Borders have teamed up with Scott's Nursery to pro provide FHS with corsages and boutonnieres. They will be on sale in the cafeteria until June 9th. Are you planning to graduate with your French Immersion Certificate? If yes, Grade 12 students are asked to come down to the office to pick up an application form. Completed applications can be placed in the envelope on Madame Poulin's door C06. You must complete an application in order to receive your certificate. Seed applications are now available online at mbjobs.ca. This is a summer employment program for grade 12 students who intend to pursue their education at a post-secondary institution in the fall. Now here are the athletes of the month. Hey FHS, here are your Coastal Graphics Athletes of the Month. Varsity female athlete, Oni Njoku. Oni is a grade 11 right side player who was a major contributor at the FHS girls volleyball team's dominance at the Southwest Regional and NBIAA Provincial Championships. The Lady Black Hats finished first in their regionals and won the gold medal at the NBIAA Championships. Oni was close to unstoppable offensively and was a major force on the service line. Varsity male athletes, volleyball co-winners Jasper, Chris Manson, and Nick Glenn. Jasper Chris Manson is a grade 12 middle blocker for the men's Black Cats volleyball team. The team finished with a 5-1 record in league play and earned a silver medal second at the NBIAA Provincials. Jasper stepped up his game on both sides of the ball, his blocking and attacking, especially at regionals. He proved to be a force at the net. Not only has Jasper greatly improved, he is a very hard worker and an all-around excellent teammate. Nick Glynn is a grade 11 left side player for the men's volleyball team. Nick's strong play earned him an all-star award at the Provincials, where the Cats finished with a silver medal, where they lost in a tough fifth set. Nick continually proved to be an integral part of the team. He was our most consistent swinger throughout the season, namely in regionals and provincials. Nick is also a strong serve receiver. A congratulations to Nick in his efforts to better his game on and off the court. JV male athlete, Daniel Kim. Congratulations to grade 10 badminton player, Daniel Kim. Daniel's dominant play earned him a triple crown at zones, regionals, and provincials. He won gold medals in singles, doubles with Leo Kim, and mixed doubles with Grace Yan. JV female athlete, Mary Emma So. Mary Emma is a grade 10 student who has played middle on the JV volleyball team for the last two years. She was a leader on our team, and her strong blocking and hitting helped our team get to the semifinal match at provincials. Congratulations to the Athletes of the Month for the month of May. Congrats, guys. Attention all grads. If you are planning on renting a tuxedo from Moores, please contact them ASAP for a fitting. They need ample lead time to get their order in. This cannot be a last minute request. The feminists in safe space groups are reminded of their potluck at noon on Thursday in Ms. Gibbeton's room. The Fine Boundaries of Feminist Evening will be held tomorrow, Thursday, June 2nd from 6.30 to 8.30 in the cafeteria. Admission is free, snacks will be provided, and there will be a silent auction with all proceeds going to Clinic 554. All are welcome to attend. The FHS track and field team had a very strong showing at the Southwest Regional Meet in St. John on Saturday. Qualifying the majority of its entries in the competition, the team practiced today and tomorrow this week after school in preparation for the Provincial Championship Meet in St. John this coming Saturday. Those athletes that are involved in the relays must, both, must attend both practices this week, today, and tomorrow. If there is a conflict, make sure to check in with Mr. Milner or Mr. Ang Angus to coordinate a lunchtime practice for baton exchanges. Attention all grads, we will have a meeting of the graduation choir on tomorrow. Thursday at lunch in Mrs. Ramirez's room, C38. All grads are welcome, no auditions required. Just bring your boys and your friends. Attention all grads, prom committee is taking your song crest to play at prom this year. So if you have a couple songs that you want to hear at prom, make sure to put it on the list that was handed out to your homeroom. The sheets will be picked up earlier next week. 
That's all for your morning announcements. I'm Crystal. I'm Ryan. Have a great day, Epicast.